Stay Out is a post-apocalyptic survival game with a massive focus on stalking instead of combat. Specifically, this early access title is centered around stalking or carefully and meticulously exploring destroyed environments to piece together exactly how the world fell apart. Furthermore, you will have access to an arsenal of weapons while exploring a specific area of the map known as the Alteration Zone. This zone of the map is separated from safer areas and features dangerous enemies while also containing important supplies such as food and water. It makes sense for developers to create survival games that double as roguelikes, Muck is exactly that, where players can work solo or with friends as they attempt to survive as long as possible on a procedurally generated island. The gameplay is similar to others in the genre, once landed on the island, the player can go and collect resources that they can use to craft necessary tools. They also can build a base to try to be safe, while the day doesn't pose many dangers, nighttime is when the enemies come out and will challenge players to stay alive as long as possible. Unturned is inspired by graphics found across different Roblox games and combines this distinctive art style with a dangerous zombie apocalypse. The main focus of this game is forging a brand new society after zombies have destroyed the remaining pockets of humanity across the globe. Furthermore, since this game is completely multiplayer, you will also have to learn to survive against hostile players who may attack you simply because they enjoy the carnage. Overall, while this is certainly not the most advanced zombie survival game, the unique charm of Unturned certainly keeps it compelling. <laughs> Grand and Prize Time Travel Survival is a free open-world survival game where you can travel through time. Most survival games start off the same way, you're standing alone in the wilderness and you have very little in the way of supplies or gear. Maybe you only have a few basic food items and a bandage or two. Sometimes you have a basic knife or an axe, often, you start off with absolutely nothing but a grubby loincloth and have to immediately begin scrabbling around for food, water, and basic crafting resources. So it's a little unusual to find a survival game that starts you off with absolutely nothing except a time machine, which seems like it should be at the end of a very long tech tree instead of the beginning. But that's what you get in the opening moments of Grand and Prize Time Travel Survival, and before long you'll be using that time machine to transport yourself through history, from the age of dinosaurs, to colonial times to modern day, and even deep into the future. Think of Palea as a Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley MMO, create your own adventure in this cozy open-world survival game. The core gameplay is similar to titles like Harvest Moon or Stardew Valley, except Palea has MMO elements. Palea offers a host of social and crafting-related skills for players to take part in together. A focus on the social aspects of online gaming rather than combat make this an ideal game for those looking for life sim-style gameplay. Players can grow closer with a host of interesting NPC characters, tend to their own gardens, hunt and fish, decorate their homes, and much more. Play Palea for free and join in on the peaceful online social community it has to offer. Will to Live Online is another first-person shooter that places you inside a post-apocalyptic world while also focusing on MMORPG elements. 
Specifically, you are actually allowed to create up to four different characters, each having a different class and playstyle. While the MMO aspects of this game are certainly important, you must still always focus on keeping your character alive by collecting food and water and defending yourself against vicious mutants that inhabit the wasteland. Furthermore, it is important to note that this game is also still in early access, meaning that features will constantly be patched into the game. Zero Survival presents players with a harsh and unforgiving environment. Not only do you have to survive, but you have to look out for enemies everywhere you turn. You will fight against the robot enemies whilst fighting against other players and facing the real struggle of survival. You will have to search through each area because you will need to obtain food, water, clothing, protection, weapons, and more. As you become a stronger survivor, you will grow in level. This will unlock more abilities for your survivor, like crafting different items. The Cycle Frontier is another game that focuses on combining two different genres together, thus making a fresh experience for players. In The Cycle Frontier, you play as a prospector that lands on the dangerous planet Fortuna 3 with other players. While you traverse the landscape, you will collect rewards, team up with players, and face off against the environment. Essentially, The Cycle Frontier combines typical battle royale elements with an environment full of dangerous fauna and flora that can completely decimate you and your teammates. In Undawn, you will have to act together with other survivors in a world infested with zombies. In the game which combines PvP and PvE experiences, you have to fight for survival by fending off the attacks of both zombie hordes and enemy groups in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Developed using Unreal Engine, Undawn transports disaster survivors to a huge and immersive universe full of different terrains and ecosystems. In the game you can build your home and establish a new civilization together with other players using a comprehensive building system that includes more than 1,000 types of furniture, items, and structures. You'd think there would be more online games out there that have you as one of the remaining survivors of the world, but Dead Frontier 2 is honestly one of the few out there to do it. In this world where darkness is everywhere and there are monsters far and wide, it's up to you to decide how you will live. With resources scarce and ammo in short supply, if you come up against threats you must take them out quickly and ensure you still have more for what's to come. It's not safe here. Stay away from me! 